distracted by the chatter and the noise. It's amazing. He just keeps moving forward. And in those moments when we're sweating, when we're worried that the bill won't pass or we won't reach our goal, Gora always reminds me that we are playing a long game here. He reminds me that change is slow. It's the change that matters. He reminds me that change does not happen all at once. But that if we keep showing up, if we keep fighting the good fight and doing what we know is right, then eventually we get there. We always have. That is the beauty of this country. And that's what he needs from you. He needs you to be with him for the long haul. He needs you to hold fast to our vision and our values and our dreams for our kids and for our country. He needs you to work like you have never worked before. Because that's what I plan on doing. I guarantee you. And I will not be doing it just as a wife or as a first lady. I will be doing it as a mother who wants to leave a legacy for my children that I can be proud of. And I'm, more than anything, I'll be doing it as a citizen who knows what we can do together to change this country for the better. Because the truth is that no matter what happens, my girls will be okay. My girls have plenty of advantages and opportunities in their lives, and that's probably true for many of your kids and the kids here as well. But I think that the last four years have shown us the truth of what Barack has always said, that if any child in this country is left behind, then that matters to all of us, even if he's not our daughter, even if he's not our son. If any family in this country struggles, then we cannot be fully content with our own family's good fortune. Because that is not what we do in this country. It's not who we are. In the end, we cannot separate our own story from the broader American story. Like it or not, we are all in this together. That is good. That's as it should be. And I know that if we put our hearts and our souls into this, we do what we need to do during the next year and a half, then we can continue to make that change we believe in. I know that we can build that country we want for our kids. I know that. So I have one final question. Are you in?